guys, the Two for Life here, and this is going to be a card discussion video. This is going to talk about a few cards, um, be specific to new Red Eye support cards. Yes, I know I'm a few days late, but I've been busy. <laughs> now, with that being said, first card is Black Dragon Archfiend. He is a more awesome looking version of Black Skull Dragon, which I did not think was possible, but hey, whatever. You gotta control one of them. You need a. Okay, he's a Fusion Monster. Dark Dragon, 3200. You need a level 6 Archfiend Normal Monster and a Red Eyes Normal Monster. So basically, Summon Skull plus Red Eyes is how you make this thing. Um, <laughs> I don't know why they didn't just say uh, Red Eyes plus Summon Skull, but hey, oh yeah, well, new support wouldn't really work for it, but whatever. Anyway, so. If this, card's attack, if this card attacks or is attacked, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects until the end of the damage step. Okay, Armadius effect, that's amazing, write that in there. At the end of the battle phase, if this Fusion Summon Monster card attacked or was attacked, you can target one Red Eyes Normal Monster in your graveyard, inflict damage to your opponent equal to that target's original attack, then return that target to the deck. So you basically get to burn your opponent for 24 Hundred. So yeah, that is a really powerful um, effect. I mean, you're basically blowing away what, like a little over a fourth of your opponent's life points with that. Just attacking or being attacked. Plus, also you get a red eyes back into your deck, so you can use it for something else, or summon it again later on, or use it for another fusion material. You know. Next is Red Eyes Fusion, normal spell card. You can only activate one per turn, and you cannot normal summon or spell summon other monsters this turn. Fusion summon one fusion monster that this is a Red Eyes monster as a fusion material monster from your extra deck. I almost called it a fusion deck. <laughs> Using monsters from your hand deck or your side of the field as fusion materials, the name of the summon monster is treated as Red Eyes Black Dragon. So now, how is this good? Well, first and foremost, it's obviously a should all fusion with no condition of what your opponent needs to have on the field. Or what you need to have. Right then and there, this card is amazing. But, however, not only that, but also the fact that it treats the monster as Red Eyes Black Dragon is better than what most people think. I mean, I, that basically means it gets help from any and all uh, Red Eyes support cards, okay? You summon Black Skull Dragon with this, or the new version of them, Black Demon Dragon, probably be called Black Archfiend Dragon, or something like that. And you activate Infernal Fire Blast. Now, for those of you who don't know, it's a normal spell card released a long time ago. It's basically Red Eyes' attack, <laughs> and it inflicts damage to your opponent equal to the attack of one Red Eyes monster you control. Well, Red Eyes Black Dragon. Since Black Skull Dragon or Black Dragon Archfiend would be treated as a Red Eyes Black Dragon, you just basically get to burn your opponent for 3200, and there's no limit to how many you can activate a turn. So if you open godly and have, I don't know, red eyes fusion in hand and triple this in your opening turn, you can FTK your opponent before they even get to activate anything in their hand, or even get to do anything. Go first, oh hey look, first three cards, other two don't matter, okay, red eyes fusion, three infernal fire blasts, red eyes fusion, black skull dragon, black dragon archfiend, whichever one you prefer, and go triple fire blast. <laughs> that is a stupid, oh my god. Next is the Black Stone of Legend. <laughs> I still can't get over that. I, I always kind of wanted Konami to make a black version, well, a Red Eyes Black Dragon version of the White Stone of Legend, and they went and did it. And it looks like it has a giant crack in it or something. Basically, it's a level 1 Dark Dragon type monster. Effect uh, 0 attack, 0 defense. You can only use one of its effects each turn, and only once that turn. You can tribute them, summon a level 7 or lower red eyes monster from your deck. And the second effect is if this card is in your graveyard, you can target a level 7 or lower red eyes monster in your graveyard, shuffle that target into the deck, and if you do, return this card to your hand. So you can basically kind of. kind of reminds me of uh, Gishki Aquamir. <laughs> it, it pays for itself and also recycles stuff, which is really, really nice. And yeah, you can, and it's just not Red Eyes Black Dragon that you can shuffle in. You can shuffle in uh, Red Eyes Wyvern. <laughs> you can shuffle in Red Eyes. Uh, oh, wait, does it say level 7 or lower? Oh, yeah, level 7 or lower, so you can shuffle in Red Eyes uh, Darkness Metal Dragon or Red Eyes Darkness Dragon, sadly. Uh, 
Well, it's it, it's still a good card. I mean, honestly, that second effect you probably won't use it very often. So for the late game, but the first effect is just awesome. Next up is Red Eyes Lightning Lord Evil Damon, or basically it's probably just gonna be called Red Summon Skull over here or something. <laughs> honestly, uh, it's a Gemini, 2500 attack, 1200 defense, six level six fiend type. It, it's a basically Summon Skull, but more cool looking. Which again, I wasn't I wasn't sure if I could do. <laughs> Once per turn, you can destroy all face-up monsters your opponent controls with defense lowered and discards attack. They basically took Makiu and put it into Summon Skull as an effect instead of a spell card, which is just really awesome. And heck, I didn't even know that Makiu, Makiu was a real card until I pulled it out of Virgin <laughs> Collection of Yugi's World. I'll be completely honest, I always thought it was an anime-only card. But regardless, it's just kind of awesome that they have this... Uh, he is a level 6 normal monster Archfiend, so you can use him for the Fusion Summon of Black Dragon Archfiend. But, however, since he's a Gemini, he's only treated as a normal while on the field and in the graveyard. So, yeah. I think he's also treated as a normal in the hand, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, okay, yeah, only on the field and in the grave. So, with that being said, you're probably not going to use this guy or the other Gemini very often. Except for like summoning from the deck with uh, Blackstone of Legend, because honestly, you're gonna end up having. <laughs> Why did they even make these two new Gemini's? Um, you know, I'll get on to that here in a second. The next card is Red Eyes Black Flare Dragon. Same stats as Red Eyes, same type, same attribute, everything. And it's effective whenever you Gemini summon it is at the end of the battle phase when this card attacked or was attacked. I mean, at yeah, attacked or was attacked. You can inflict damage to your opponent equal to this card's original attack. You can only use that effect once per turn. So you could potentially, if you attacked directly, inflict 4800 damage with this card. Now, here's my problem with the Geminis. They're all only normal monsters, and Black Dragon Archfiend specifies normal monsters while on the field or in the graveyard. So that means the only way of using these guys as fusion materials for Black Dragon Archfiend is while they're on the field, which honestly, almost here we have two Black Stone of Legends, probably won't happen that often. Or in the graveyard, it's not going to happen. I mean, you're going to have to, like, Dragon's Mirror them from the grave into this thing, or you're going to have to Polymerization or even just Red Eyes Fusion with them on the field. So really, to be completely honest, I see these guys maybe being one ofs in the deck, um, if even that, uh, because you'll just end up playing triple of Red Eyes, triple of Summon Skull, Act Fate, Red Eyes Fusion, okay, use them from the deck, you won't even have to worry about drawing into them. Of course, there's other ways to get them in the grave or on the field or out of your hand. Uh, it's just kind of sad that they went and made this new stuff and you can't really even use it for the new fusion, which is clearly supposed to be a fusion out of two new cards. I mean, especially if you compare the artworks and everything. So, with that being said, honestly, I can't wait to test out this new stuff. I'm probably going to play the new Geminis regardless of their actual playability, but whatever. <laughs> Anyways, guys, what do you think of them? Uh, that's my general two cents on them. So, with that being said... Please comment. What do you think about them? I, I kind of, I actually do want to know these guys, uh, these things, guys. I mean, like, really, people don't ever comment on my videos very often. Anyway, so thank you for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Have a great day and peace.